To really get why a tool like Tailwind even exists, we have to take a step back and look at the problems it's trying to fix. We've been writing CSS the traditional way for decades, and anyone who's ever worked on a big project knows it can be a real headache. I mean, I bet these points feel painfully familiar, right? You're constantly trying to invent the perfect class name, car-header-title wrapper, main content-user-avatar, you know the drill. Before you know it, your CSS file is thousands of lines long, and you spend all day just jumping back and forth between your HTML and your CSS, trying to remember what style's what. And the worst part? You get the fear. That feeling when you need to change one little style, and you're just praying you don't accidentally break the entire layout on some other page you forgot about. So this is where Tailwind comes in and just flips the whole script. The big idea is this. Stop writing custom CSS. Instead, you build everything by combining tiny, reusable utility classes, and you do it right there in your HTML. Let's see how that actually plays out. The core philosophy is called utility first. Think of it like this. Every single class has one very specific job. It adds a bit of padding, or it centers some text, or it sets a background color. That's it. So you're not getting pre-built components like a card or a button. You're getting the fundamental building blocks to create your own components from scratch. And honestly, the best way to think about it is with Legos. This analogy is perfect. Most other frameworks, they give you a pre-built Lego car. It's a car, it looks good, but good luck trying to turn it into a spaceship. Tailwind doesn't give you the car, it just hands you a giant bin of every individual Lego brick you can imagine and says, go wild. You can build the car, the spaceship, a castle, anything. Okay, so let's look at some of these Lego bricks up close. For example, you've got a class like P8. Its only job in life is to apply a specific amount of padding. That's it. Simple, right? Then you've got something like Flex1. All this does is tell a flex item to grow and fill whatever space is available. Again, one class, one job. And one more, Grid Calls4. You can probably guess what this does. Yep, it creates a four-column grid. You're starting to see the pattern, right? Just tiny, predictable, single-purpose blocks. Now this is where you take all those little bricks and start clicking them together. By combining them, you can build something complex, like this responsive component. That MD flex part, it just means, on medium screens and up, make this a flex container. The image is full width by default, with W full, but then, on those same medium screens, MDW48 kicks in and gives it a fixed width. You are literally composing the design, piece by piece, right there in the markup. And yes, this brings us right back to that messy HTML critique, but stick with me. Because while that utility-first idea is the foundation, the real magic, the thing that addresses pretty much all the criticisms, is Tailwind's just-in-time engine. Seriously, this thing is a total game-changer. This brings us to a really important question. You might be thinking, okay, that's cool, but what if 